Can you dig it? Can, can you dig can you it? Dig it? <laughs> can you? Oh man, I'm can gonna be had it? for that one for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bad. That, that's a dad joke. I'll see myself out. Welcome back to another fellow Drops Brew Guide we video. We are back. Haley's back, finally. <laughs> yeah, guess who's back? That's me. I'm so excited to be back here with you guys. I was really sad to miss a couple weeks, but I'm stoked yeah. to be here again. Well, today we have a drop from our friends at... Cat and Club. It's a washed Kenya Karamakui. Super, super delicious. Really exciting. Um, a bunch of tropical fruit vibes, so we wanted to bring this around right at the start of what's almost summer. I mean, it's basically summer in our hemisphere. I don't yeah. care what anyone says. <laughs> um, yeah, it's so tropical fruits, tropical floral vibes to um, like a papaya that then cools down into a mango situation. Yeah, definitely that papaya yeah. mango situation here. Yep. And it is going to go perfect with a flash brewed iced Aeropress. Flash iced coffee. I love flash iced coffee, <laughs> coffee because it really brings out that sweetness typically. Mm. Like it just gives it that extra sweetness to that rapid temperature change. Um, we're going to brew it in Aeropress with Prismo today um, to give that extra kind of decadent sort of fluffy mouthfeel mm. that Prismo allows for because Prismo does not allow for any liquid to, to drip out of the chamber before you plunge, mm. meaning it allows pressure to build up within the chamber. Hence the fluffy mouth feel and the close to espresso taste without the footprint of an espresso machine at home. Um, it's like espresso on the go kind mm. of situation. So, sort of. Sort of. Like you, get, you get the more concentrated brew. And you get, yeah, you just get like that extra, again, it's, it's all about the mouth feel. Yeah. So it's not going to get you true espresso, like true crema. I mean, nine bars of pressure is a lot, but it'll get you that fluffier mouth feel mm. and we love it. And also it's super cool to travel with Prismo because it's a metal filter, so you don't need any more paper filters. You don't have to worry about that. You just toss it in your backpack and go is what I do. I mean, I take it camping all the time, yeah. tops of mountains and whatnot, and it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. and Fantastic and doesn't disrupt the environment. Yeah, well, um, uh, I'm uh, really excited to taste some of that me too. Prismo magic. Oh, Prismo yeah. magic it's gonna be happening. Real fluffy here. and refreshing, decadent yeah. but refreshing. Um, cool. So we're going to do, we're going to brew at 200 degrees, uh, again, a lower temperature because AeroPress is pretty well insulated. Uh, we are going to use 20 grams of coffee in, we're going to do a hundred grams of ice and a hundred grams of water. So 50, 50 split mm -hmm. on that, meaning a 200 gram out. Uh, we're going to brew for two minutes, agitating, um, agitating not too aggressively in the middle there. Um, after not in the middle, sorry, after like. 30, 35 seconds. I'm gonna agitate for 10 seconds pretty gently with a swirl. I'm using Ode with SSP uh, and I'm using a, I'm, I'm right at a four. For regular standard Ode burrs, I would say that you're probably around a three, a little bit, a little bit, a little like bit. Finer, uh, definitely finer. finer range on in Ode. Sure. And on, on the stock Ode, with the Ode at setting four, our Ode here is set five clicks off chirp. So. Yep. You can yep. replicate that if you have an ode with the SSP. Yep. Uh, but with the stock burrs, would recommend you experiment with finer grind settings, especially for iced. Yep, absolutely. Uh, so yeah, let's get started, shall we? I also wanna I wanna point out that we pre-warmed our AeroPress before we started recording this video, so it's still pretty darn warm. You wanna pre-warm your AeroPress, even if you're making iced, if you're brewing iced, because this part of the whole situation is still hot and you want to retain that heat mm -hmm. and retain that insulation. So pre-warm your AeroPress and then toss your coffee in. I didn't use the funnel. I don't know why. I guess I'm a professional. Who knows? <laughs> um, just kidding. You should always use the funnel because you, that was, I just got incredibly lucky. So I'm going to start my timer and I'm going to go ahead and pour up to a hundred grams, trying to get everything soaking pretty evenly without over pouring. 102. I'll take it. Um, yeah. No dripping here. Not a single drip. So, I mean, just to prove, you, you know, you saw me pour the water in. 
It's no magic trick. <laughs> it's you saw you saw all of that. I feel like the magician when he goes up and he's like, "You saw me put someone in this box or whatever." I don't know. I'm not a magician. I yeah. made coffee, but yeah, no dripping. Um, fantastic. Oh shoot, we are at 37 seconds, so I'm going to give it a gentle for 10 seconds agitation just to get everything soaking e evenly that's basically the idea here you don't want to like shake the thing <laughs> like crazy it's really we our coffee does not need that kind of aggression <laughs> um, cat and cloud don't want to hurt the kenya <laughs> no and we're also we're also going to remove yeah. now that we are done messing with the whole system apparatus what have you until we plunge we're gonna take it off of the scale. Yeah, do, do not plunge the arrow press on your scale. That's how you uh, destroy your precious scale. And I cannot stress enough, <laughs> that is how you destroy <laughs> a scale. The quickest way to ruin your day and your scale. Cause like at the, at the best, the best outcome if you plunge on top of your scale is that you throw it out of whack and just have to recalibrate it. But that's, that's, I, I, that's not ideal. unlikely. Yeah. And also still not ideal for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we're almost at two minutes and... Oh, you know what that means? I might plunge. Gonna, might plunge? Well, I might. How are we gonna get our coffee if you don't plunge? If we're gonna just cowboy <laughs> paper, we're gonna drink it like it is. Drink it. <laughs> if you really like coffee... All right. You like coffee grounds and drink it. No, that's a lie. Don't <laughs> listen to me. All right. Two minutes. <laughs> there we go. So you want an even plunging pressure, whatever that means for you. I mean, I... I just think it's really important to keep it standard every time you actually do plunge. So whatever you're, it's kind of like your tamp pressure with espresso. Like you want to keep it even to you every time so mm -hmm. you can eliminate that variable with yourself. All right. That yeah. looks like iced coffee to me. I'm gonna grab yeah. some cups. I'll take this one. Thank cups. you. Cups. Yeah, I had, to, I, had to, I had to move this out of the way so the camera could see the beautiful it sure, it sure is beautiful. This like gorgeous iced amber color. Mm. It just, this is going to sound really cheesy, but we're going to get cheesy. Um, it just reminds me of summer. Like it's just, it's really summer in a mighty mm. small glass carafe. Um, and when I pour also, this isn't going to drip because it's in our mighty small glass mm. carafe with the dripless spout. Yeah. So here we go. Thank you. Oh, and did you see a drip? I didn't see one. I didn't see a drip. But what I saw was a thicker looking brew, and that's because yeah, tell of us why. Tell the Prismo us why. giving us that more concentrated brew. And what's cool about that in ice is you will get, you'll still get that additional bump in concentration, or you'll get that additional bump in mouthfeel, oh, I gotta wait. which is like pretty awesome considering it's an ice drink. Uh, but this coffee does pair really well with summer. Yeah, it sure yeah. does. <laughs> Very cool. Excellent pairing. Like a park walk, a summer walk. I mean, do it up, drink this coffee. Yeah. Uh, cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's nice. That is... <laughs> that's that's, that's yeah. just nice. So you get that lovely, lovely uh, papaya mango note just presented right up front, and then it's a lot of sweetness at the end, and that's just because of brewing over ice. And the lower temperature. Mm -hmm. And also what I find is interesting too, tasting it hot, it was papaya that cooled down into mm. mango, whereas iced, it's like papaya mango together, mm. in, but not like juice. It's not super juicy yeah. necessarily. It's more of like papaya mango water or like, you know, just like su super clean, doesn't linger, just mm -hmm. like, just but still kind of fluffy like it's it's this beautiful structured balanced yeah thing that this is the, yeah structure is actually a drink really all of right yeah, now actually like, structure is actually a really great way to describe this type of brewing method is you didn't uh, want any more of this did you well you can have the rest if you want oh, sick. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah you with these with these brews and and with especially with these types of coffees uh you get great acidity even it, it, especially in iced you get great acidity really nice actual texture and body to the coffee because we're using the Prismo here. And then the finish is nice and sweet. Mm -hmm. And it's just all combines to be a very enjoyable cup. You, you can of course adjust your recipe here. This is a great baseline starting point that we've really enjoyed, especially 
if you're looking for that nicer iced coffee experience. But yeah, this was pretty fantastic. Heck yeah, cheers one more time. I'm really, cheers. and cheers to summer too. Mm. And remember, well, thank you, one, for being here. We're stoked to be back and, well, I'm stoked to be back. <laughs> You've been here and thank you, Brian, for mm. taking up the mantle. Um, while I was gone, we should have a round of applause for Brian. I'm not gonna do that right now though because it's just gonna look like, look like me <laughs> clapping in a room. Um, uh, but, so, yes, as always, if you have any suggestions for us, any questions, comments, concerns, um, you wanna send us some love, we love hearing from you guys in the comment section. And we do listen. Um, if you wanna know about any other brew methods, uh, we would recommend looking at all of our other videos as far as like brewing pour overs and stuff goes because we with filter and with other brew methods we've been kept, we kept this one kind of standard um mm -hmm. and yeah as always ordering is super easy from fellow drops right i mean yeah just text us back just Otherwise, text us back we'll be sad if you we don't will be very text us. yeah that's yeah. we do get sad actually <laughs> yeah well we sad thank sometimes. you so much for being here, Haley, and thank you so much for Thanks, watching today's video. If you have any questions, let us know, but otherwise, we'll see you all around next week. See you next week. Bye.